Greetings, Empire fans. Welcome to the next episode of the Rise of the Russian Bear campaign. I am First Centurion 753. Last episode, um, what happened last episode? I think we were, we started last episode laying siege to two different cities, St. Petersburg here, and then uh, an Ottoman city in Moldavia. Um, I think that city attempted to break siege, and we kind of decimated that army. Um, here we have another siege. The uh, garrison in St. Petersburg is attempting to break our siege, um, led by Prince Repnin. This army, uh, we have two field artillery batteries, fixed artillery batteries, uh, two Cossack line infantry, the 9th and the 3rd. Got the 2nd Regiment of Foot. 4th Regiment of Militia, and the 3rd Regiment of Horse, going up against two line infantry regiments for the Swedes, the 24th and the 25th, and they also have two civilian mobs who are just pretty much going to get decimated. Um, St. Petersburg didn't take too many turns to um, force them to surrender, or force them to attack us. We're going to take St. Petersburg, but I don't think I want to capture that Ottoman city in this turn, even though uh, the army, the garrison there has been basically decimated and they'll definitely capitulate. Um, we're going to hold off because we're concerned with getting too much territorial expansion, um, which can concern a lot of our neighbors and we don't want to be fighting too many wars. So we're going to fight this battle. Uh, another Swedish army was moving towards Moscow, if I can remember. We had a Russian army in its way. I'm surprised that that Swedish army did not try to break the siege, help break the siege of St. Petersburg. Because because of that, we're definitely going to win this battle. Or I'm pretty sure we're definitely going to win this battle and see how we're going to lose. Um, they did send a separate force east, from what I recall, uh, to take one of my eastern provinces. And I think I've figured out somewhat of a strategy to deal with that. Or at least there's something I'm going to try after this battle on how to deal with that uh, eastern invasion. This battle shouldn't take too long. I do want to fight it out just because I don't want to lose too many troops. Um, there is not really good ground here. This would probably be the best position. these things, um, your artillery could be saved for some value fuel, but it's vulnerable. This really stinks because it narrows down uh, the line of fire, and you also can't turn it, so I rarely use these fortifications, unless I'm in like a fortress, and there's a definite like choke point where the soldiers are going to have, the enemy is going to have to go, I try to generally avoid using that type of field work on the battlefield. Okay, 120 men line infantry. Um, there is no cavalry, so I don't have to worry about um, using these stakes. Uh, trench might work well, but I don't know. I'm not sure if that's necessary. That's not who I wanted. Back up. Trying to get this field artillery. Right there. Okay. Put the Cossacks in the trees, give them some coverage, which is good. Militia. Put them right in the middle because we'll use them to attack wherever. defend wherever the attack comes from. And
there's the enemy. I see them now. Just moving on down the line. Taking a scene from Full Metal Jacket. Ooh, I can't have uh, that line after that. They're going to be hit. Right, let's just back these guys up a little bit. You should always be a little bit behind the artillery, just in case the artillery does have to turn. We don't need to shoot until they get over that hill. Line infantry is been very effective in battle. They were very effective in the battle against the Ottomans. The Ottomans just immediately broke as soon as they hit the line infantry. But I am looking to try to get some newer. I'm looking to get some newer infantry, so I do want to build a drill school in Moscow. I do want some newer infantry to deal with the Swedes. The Swedes have some tough units. All right, the citizens—they're obviously not that tough, but here they have line infantry, European-style line infantry. The Ottoman line infantry is much weaker than the European-style line infantry. <coughs> Alright, looks like they're starting to come over the, the uh, hill here. We can just maybe we can take, off, take out a couple there. Can't tell from that position. 60, 60. No, they didn't do anything. first couple turns we focused mostly with Cossack infantry. The reason being is that they were one cheaper and eventually I will use them as garrison forces. So they gain some experience and they're going to typically be garrison forces um, once we start developing more infantry units, more elite infantry units. Ooh, we got three there, that's good. And three for that one. Taking out six so far. And another three on the 25th. It's going to be time to do canister shot pretty soon. They're starting to get close. There we go, canister shot time. Alright, don't let them come around the flank. Line infantry against line infantry here on the battle. This is a good shot. This kind of looks like the movies, one of those battlefields, European style battlefields. There's our cavalry coming around the flank. Canister shot just mowing down huge chunks in the enemy line. The last mob is about to break. I'm surprised. There's our line of tree. Line of tree is down to 66. Unbelievable. Better have those cannons fire there. Infantry is down to 60. They lost half the regiment. Oh my god. These guys are breaking. Everybody's running now. Alright, chase them down. Can 
continue. We want to finish off the battle here. Hold your shot. They got, uh, oh man. They take it over. You know, five of our guys went down. But, for the most part, we've taken out their guys. Alright, send the general to finish with them off. Finish the job. Who's firing? Nobody fires. Shouldn't be anybody else firing. Alright, there goes their commander, and I think we have them chased down. South against the Ottomans, the line infantry are more than enough to handle the job. Okay, so that was the Battle of St. Petersburg, and um, they were decimated. We still have over 500 men. They're down to 66. Nobody gained any experience except for the cannon. 93 kills with that cannon. They're the ones who lost. They lost the third. I'm really surprised that the uh, line infantry took such a big hit. So, do we take the province? No, we don't. The siege continues. I am going to force them to capitulate. I'll demand they capitulate, which they should probably accept. Maratha Confederacy, again, expanding in India, just like always. There is unused land suitable for farming in this And region. another sabotage. Building farms here will help the population to grow over building? time and produce trade That's impact. the same building. Alright, we've got a little historical event there. Military technology. Plug bayonet. I don't want carbines next... We're going to have to change that construction report, opera house in Kiev, and craft workshops in Muscovy. I think that's that new town in Muscovy, right down there. Yeah, so that should have increased the wealth dramatically. Alright, 1,300 income, which is a good amount. They're on their way. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna try to force the... This is that other Swedish army. They're pretty sizable. Eh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. There was another Swedish army coming up here. Oh, wow, they have two pretty big armies. Alright, let's just force them to surrender. They accept. Uh, I want city walls here. We have now captured a region in Gria, which is one of our objective regions. There it is. Check. Got Eleven more to go. Seven more objective regions. Okay. Um, should always build this thing because you can recruit troops. It also helps to sustain the. Uh, repression over the population. And if you don't improve these, in, um, if you don't repair these these city buildings here, then it takes, the damage increases. And it costs much more in the future. Okay, so, we built the settlement fortifications. Continue the siege in Moldovia, that's okay. Reinforcements. Sylvia all the way down here.
These guys do need some reinforcements. But not yet. There's like nothing there. We're not going to force them to surrender. Um, ring bayonet. That's what we wanted here. For technology. Plug bayonet. Once you stick the plug in, you can't shoot. So ring bayonet, you continue to fire and use bayonets simultaneously. Okay. Yeah, territorial expansion negative six. So we don't want that to get out of control. Let's see if we can make a deal with Sweden. I have an offer. And I'll throw in a trade agreement with this offer. Uh, if you give me Estonia, I will give you this region. Let's see if this works. Nope, it didn't work. I was hoping that would. It looks like their armies are actually a lot tougher than I thought. Okay. St. Petersburg. Yeah, that's a decent amount of wealth, not a tremendous amount. What to do with this army? Now I have a tough decision. I think I'm going to withdraw them here. Be a bad idea because they're probably going to be able to capture my guys. Well, they won't be able to bring the artillery into play. And the cavalry, I can probably take out. I have two guns. them with two pikemen, which I could probably take out with the canister shot, and then two line infantry. They're not that tough. These guys are tough, though, and they're definitely going to kick their ass. Oh, sorry for cursing. Um, let's see if I can make a deal with the Prussians, because I don't want... Ring bayonet's one that we're looking for. Wow. Okay. I don't have any grenadiers yet, so I'm not too concerned with that. Let's see if they want to buy something off me. Because I need some cash. Holy crap. West Prussia. I don't think so. That's like one of the worst regions. That's definitely a no-go. Um, what if I trade it for 500? Uh, they're still being jerks. Now they want to give us Saxony. <laughs> no, not going to happen. Alright, I was trying to help you there, Prussia. But let's see if... Is Prussia still at war with uh, Poland Lithuania? I don't think so. Okay, plug me in it. For a thousand. Oh, not two, one. There we go. Okay. That worked. Nice. <laughs> kind of scandalous. Diabolical. They are at war with our ally. But our ally is getting a little too powerful. We don't want to be, we don't want them to be that powerful. Okay. I don't know what else to do. Oh, okay, so since we do want the line infantry, right? And let's try to repair these buildings. Actually, let's not. Not yet. Let's repair that one.
I actually don't think they're going to be able to defeat us, so I'm going to bring them back. So I don't want them to challenge St. Petersburg. Yeah, let's bring them back. It's a little bit of a ridge there. Yeah, come and get us. Guard well the capital there. What type of reinforcements do we need down here? I think this cannon needs to be reinforced. That took out a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through one more turn. I think we're probably going to lose this province up here. Our rake is moving towards Estonia. Estonia is going to be the next target. Hopefully, that Ludwig army will come down and challenge our uh, new commander. Come down the road to Moscow. Poland Lithuania really expanding against Austria. If there's no battle this, this turn, I'm probably going to end the turn. I don't want this. This is. I don't want these episodes to uh, go longer than half an hour. I'm trying to keep it less than half an hour. Some of these battles are pretty intense. And pretty crucial. Here we go. We're going to lose. No, they didn't attack us. This one. Ooh. Interesting. I can choose to attack or I can choose to decline. I want to fight it out. Neutralize these artillery by putting the position in the rear. Do I want to fight it out? If they try to attack Moscow, it's going to be hopeless. <sighs> Tough decision. Tough decision here. as well try to find that out. No, I don't know. Ha! I'm a little indecisive. Sixty. Those regiments of horse have sixty in them. That's a lot. I think I can beat them. Let's fight it out. Let's make it entertaining. We might lose this battle. Depend a lot on the ground that we have. If I had another artillery piece, I think I would have been able to, to win. I'm probably going to lose this one. That's okay, because I'm going to try to decimate these forces. Ah, it's not alright. I didn't do that right. I did not play this strategically. I should have let them commit. I'm surprised they didn't take that northern province. Surprised the Swedes didn't take the northern pros. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna win. Decent line of fire. Line infantry. Covered by Cossack infantry. Cossack infantry. Decent coverage. Melee troops backing them up. And our general.
spread them out a little more. Most of the guys are hidden. Everybody's hidden. How do they know where to attack? We, we need to let them know where we are. Artillery. You don't want to hit them. Let them get annihilated. Our target wants to be. We want our target to be the 6th Regiment, of course. Should be able to take him out. Wow, he only got one. Okay, that's not good. Charge. And I want solid shot.
Force is winning. Shooting at these guys? Blast that general. Blast them. Fire. Not firing. Fire. Okay, finally some Swedish cavalry withdrawing. So the other troops are folding on the left flank. The enemies are folding on the left flank, so it looks like we survived there. Beautiful. Okay. So we took them. Our, our right flank is wavering, and now they broke. But... these guys. Oh man, they're coming right at us. 
right at the artillery there. <sighs> ugly, 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 ugly. Alright, Cossack line infantry. Right here. Look on them. These guys. Still might lose. I think we're definitely gonna lose. Who is that? Alright, time for my general to step in here and take out his general the general. not what I wanted. <sighs> Trouble now. Attack the enemy general. Break off from the pikemen. Break off. Now hit the general. There's 20 of you. We just got hit by our own fire, I think. Friendly fire. Okay, so the pikemen did not engage our line infantry as they were reforming. Which is definitely an error. Run through those.
take out that general. there. I think we used the line infantry well. We should have had more artillery. I need another artillery battery in these regiments, in these armies. Intense fighting. Pikemen were tough in the melee. But once you get rid of those first a few regiments of pikemen, they don't return. The line infantry held against them. That battle took a lot of maneuvering. We lost a lot of men, but we took out a huge Swedish army. I wonder if they'll be more willing to make a deal. Now that they're they're down an army. Okay. I think that's good. Close victory. That's a fair statement. Okay. We deployed more than they did. Oh no, we deployed less than they did. They lost a lot more. We've got some... Everybody moved up with battle post-battle experience. The line infantry really did the job there. And the melee took care of business. Artillery almost got 100. That was a well-fought battle by the Russians. Now the Swedes have to withdraw, and they did not capture our other region yet. Might be time for them to negotiate. It was the Mughal Empire that um, moved into the Ivory Coast. Intense fighting. Used land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here. Still urging us to build farms. And the general got a bloody character trait, which is not good because that will decrease his men's morale in the future. This army did not lay siege. Interesting. We got some good cash back. Let's see if Sweden's ready to make a deal now. I'm not going to offer the trade agreement. Just we'll do region for region. Really? You want to fight it out? Well, that's going to be tough for you. Not as tough for me, though. This guy's path was blocked. I'm trying to get him to Estonia to get a get some reconnaissance on what they have up there. Two turns until Moldovia surrenders. St. Petersburg is ours. Um, most of these men have been reinforced. Go ahead and reinforce everyone. Can we take them out? Seventy-seven versus one seventy-two. Oh man, I guess we did lose a lot of guys there. I probably should fight this battle. All right, I'm gonna save game here, and we'll start this battle next turn since we're over forty minutes here, closing in on fifty minutes. 
Thanks for watching. Another victory for the Russian army. The Swedes are being repulsed, and uh, we've got good command of the theater in the south against the Ottomans, so it looks like we're doing well in this game. And we're starting to obtain our objectives. We captured St. Petersburg, another port. Um, this one named after our, our king or our czar. I uh, hope you enjoyed.